Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to your June 2021 monthly reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. You guys know the rules of tarot, so I'm not going to jump into all that. Feel just take what resonates, leave behind what does not. Feel free to check your other Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for you and your counterpart. If you are unsure or unaware of what your specific other signs are, there is a link to a free natal calculator in the description box down below, with, along with all other important information, including how to obtain a personal reading. That being stated, Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and pull one spirit message card from you from Spirit Guides, and then we will jump into your spread. All right, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Well, apparently you guys are getting two. <laughs> always always difficult with my Aquarius readings but I love you guys give back today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve it is about giving back without any thought or expectation of getting anything in return reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today and inspired passion life devoid of passion can be be a boring, uninspired, blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is a time to reunite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. So it's time to get inspired, Aquarius, and to be of service to others. Um, there's someone, especially around you right now, Aquarius, that needs that extra special attention and love. Little extra push. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull you guys a divine door. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what message do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 2021? Please, best message of life and guidance for Aquarius. Destiny. One door closes, another opens for you. Let the plans of destiny unravel true. So, uh, divine timing is at work. Destiny is opening a door for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at your tarot spread and see what's going on with my beautiful Aquariuses. All right, see you guys, angels, ancestors. Let's take a look at Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2021. May area of love, romance, and relationships. Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately the best message for Aquarius's highest vibration and interest. Thank you. Ooh, all right, so the tower is coming out as your first card being crossed by the four of cups. So what I'm seeing here is, Aquarius, there has been something in your life that you have been very unhappy and discontented with. And the universe has taken notice of this and they are making the changes that are necessary to bring you back to an equal footing into a more stable position. So I do feel like this is a time where some of you may be, you know, things may be coming to light. Um, secrets are being exposed. Things, A lot of things are rapidly changing in your environment. And it can bring up feelings of, of discontentment. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, bottom of the spread, excuse me, in the distant past. Now that could be last week, last month, last year, 10 years ago, 25, 50. It's all going to be everybody else's different, you know, on different timelines. So take it as it resonates. We have temperance coming in, Sagittarian energy. What this is telling me is that there was a need for balance and deep healing, really connecting in. Some of you could be connecting in and tapping in to your, your inner wisdom, your, your uh, higher self here. All right. Recent past, we have the Three of Pentacles. So putting effort and work into a situation where you're currently at is the Strength card. Card of Leo, it's about being brave and courageous in the face of adversity. is taming your instincts and and really being in in that master control future energy coming in is the ace of swords so seeing things with clarity seeing the truth a new opportunity a truthful new beginning solid foundation here all right so something's definitely ending for you aquarius is new endings and new beginnings some of you may be going through a bit of a transformation and an awakening at this point in time outside influences to you is the emperor uh, this is Aries energy, but someone's taking back control or is it control very much the power and driven. This is somebody who takes charge, takes no prisoners, does 
um, does what they want and accomplishes many things here. Okay, so fears and uh, hopes and fears is the Eight of Cups. Your fear is walking away from something, and your fear is also, and the reward here, their hope is to move towards something more emotionally fulfilling. So it's that everything's a blessing, it's also a curse kind of thing. All right, and future possible outcome here is the Knight of Swords. So there's something that is going, you're either going to be moving towards something very quickly, uh, speaking your truth, or someone's going to be moving towards you speaking their truth very, very soon. It's going to be quite, quite quickly and quite action-packed when it happens. So subconsciously, we're in the high demand position, waiting for that inspiration, waiting for that signal uh, to take any action. And current, sub, uh, what's the overall energy here? It's a ten of swords, so a very painful ending. Six of swords. Somebody is definitely moving on here. We definitely got cards everywhere of moving on. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's clarify the cards on the table for my beautiful Aquarius, taking a little bit deeper dive in here. Please bring forth only the best and most important messages that Aquarius most needs to know at this time. Please make it accurate and precise. Starting with this temperance in the past position. My temperance here. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. The Queen of Swords and the Eight of Swords were in the reverse positions. So I feel like something, Aquarius, I feel like you are healing here and bringing yourself back into balance from something that you once felt stuck in and out of control, like this was beyond your control. You felt you like you had no power here, but that's been restored. And this was how this came with a brutal betrayal and ending in the past here. So this is something that came to an end that you were trying to heal from, bring balance in, that you once felt like you had no power or control in whatsoever. You felt stuck, like you couldn't get un free yourself from it. This caused a lot of heartbreak and pain, and this is what you were trying to heal and find balance from. I do believe like you moved, you moved on from this, but you were doing so very, very slowly, very cautiously. What is the Three of Pentacles in the recent past for my Aquarius? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Three of Pentacles. Okay. I'm getting the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Okay. So, yeah, this is something you invested yourself your energy and your time into something. You worked on it very deeply, but I do feel like this is where you were struggling to find your best foot to put forward. There's a decision that you made that you were afraid to act upon. You spent a lot of time contemplating this choice back and forth on whether to invest any more time in this opportunity. Part, this caused you a lot of stress, a lot of burden. But I do believe you made the decision. But whether or not you acted upon it, I'm not sure. Now, this could be you or your person, Aquarius. But somebody here, they, they did. They, they were back and forth in a place of indecision. They did a lot of contemplating, a lot of time out. There was a lot of stress that came with this decision. But I believe it was reached here. Whether it was acted upon, I'm not so quite certain. I don't think so. Aquarius, whether this is you or them, I don't see the person acting upon this. I see them kind of standoffish, too leery to put that step forward, waiting for destiny, yeah, to take, to just kind of come in and do its thing. I feel like this was a situation where you, know, this person, whether it's you or them, wanted to take action, wanted to take that step forward, but was a little too afraid to. So they're just waiting for the universe to do its thing. All right, so what is the strength? Why does Aquarius have the strength card here? Getting the Knight of Wands. What else can you tell me about the strength card here? Thank you. 
King of Wands, the Knight of Wands. Okay, so <clears throat> interesting. So Aquarius, what I'm feeling here is some of you are gathering the strength and the courage to take action to bring forth a offer. Um, this is the Knight of Cups, so this is definitely a love offer coming forward for a really um, spiritual commitment. Some of you, this could be, you know, a proposal of marriage, of um, long-term commitments. This is really, um, some of you, this could be a job offer, by the way, but not a lot, but a lot of you not, that's not going to be the case. This was all, you know, most of you, this is dealing with love and relationship. So I feel like you're, either you are gathering the energy and the courage to uh, take a passionate action towards this love and offer your cup to someone um, that you really see as a possibility of, you know, the whole nine yards, marriage, children future this is family you know tr traditional values of taking that step for others of you this could be your person gathering the courage to do this but this is the you know this is the king of wands here at the bottom of the deck leo energy this is about going after your heart's desire making what you what you want a reality ace of swords future energy coming in Ace of Cups. Whoa. All right. So this is a, this we have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Death card, and the Devil. So this, what's coming in is a very big trans, transformative energy. Uh, something has ended, some toxic cycle pattern, carbon, karmic lesson here. You're seeing clarity and truth. Somebody's speaking the truth and with it is bringing an offer of love. A big offer of love. This is not a little. This is this is giant, which is what we see being prepared up here. So it's either you or them, Aquarius. You have the death card down here. Let's see what that's all about. <laughs> well, it's absolutely you coming forward, Aquarius, with this opportunity. There's the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. You're offering this pentacle to someone. Cancer Pisces. Scorpio with this moon card. Um, there's a lot of fears. There's things that are hidden unknown in this situation, but I feel like this is where you're headed to. What is this emperor? Outside influence, please. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't even. <laughs> the chariot. The High Priestess, the Six of Wands. This is a card of, of victory, a forward movement. Two cards of victory and the High Priestess. This is absolutely, this is why I'm kind of laughing in the world. Uh, old cycles complete, new cycle starting. Uh, universe and destiny at play. Taking divine action on victory. And these are both, um, these both are cards of cancer. The High Priestess and the Chariot. Some of you are definitely connecting with the Cancer. What is this? Eight of Cups and Hopes and Fears, please. The King of Wands. Something else good. All right. The Page of Pentacles, the King of Wands, this Page of Swords, the Five of Swords in Reverse, and the Six of Pentacles. All right, so Aquarius, the Eight of Cups is about moving on from a situation that you were comfortable in, but no longer fulfilling and moving towards your, uh, moving towards a new situation that's going to bring emotional fulfillment. And this is the King of Wands going after what they want after a period of, like, kind of back sitting out and watching. And this is the Five of Swords in reverse. So this is person, either you is coming, coming forth with honesty and integrity, no tricks, no hidden motives ready to uh, give equally to this connection, really define the balance and restore balance within this connection for long-term stability and partnership. What is this Knight of Swords possible outcome future energy here, please? Not surprised. 
the Nine of Wands being lowered, the Emperor's here. Uh, this is about taking quick, determined action, impulsively coming forward and speaking your truth, no hold backs. Uh, this is about your regrets of the past, the sadness, the remorse, making a final judgment call, speaking about, you know, long-term stability, commitment, marriage, but happily ever after twin flame energy coming together for some of you. All right, let's go ahead and get a couple of romance angels on this. Okay, we have two cards fall. Give me one second. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, June 2021. Best messages, advice, and guidance from my Aquarius Collective. Please show me clearly, precisely, and accurately the best messages, advice. And guidance for my Aquarius, please. What do we have for Aquarius? All right. We have. We have pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so don't ignore anything confront it head on Aquarius especially in a current relationship or in a future relationship or someone that you're just getting to know getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so pay attention to the things around you some of you have new love coming in a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and you deserve love. You are lovable. All right, going to pull some zodiac cards for the zodiac signs that Aquarius may be connecting to. Now, as always, if you are connecting with one of these signs, take it as a sign of synchronicity that this reading could contain a special message for you. If you find that you are not connecting with any of these signs or won't be connecting with one of these signs, and but the reading still resonated, this reading still for you. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what do we have for my beautiful Aquariuses? From the energies or energy of the persons or persons that they are connecting with at this time. And we were told there's four cards. One is popped out, which is Libra. Okay. Pisces. Leo. And Aries. Bottom of the deck signs Capricorn Taurus Virgo all right that is all I have for you at this time please be sure to pop down and leave me a message in the comment box down below be sure to hit that like button otherwise I will see you guys next time remember to live in light and love namaste bye for now